3M Lippmann stethoscopes are designed for all types of body sounds, patient conditions, and physical environments. In this video, we'll review auscultation best practices for performing a patient examination. Perform the exam in a quiet room and place the chest piece directly on the patient's skin. For blood pressure assessment, listen to the Karotkov sounds with your stethoscope to determine systolic and diastolic blood pressure. To auscultate bowel sounds, use the diaphragm of the chest piece and listen in on each of the four quadrants of the abdomen. For heart and lung examinations, it's considered a best practice to use both bell and diaphragm or to adjust the pressure on the tunable diaphragm. This ensures that the full range of sound frequency is heard. When using a Lippmann tunable diaphragm, use light pressure to emphasize low frequency sounds, firm pressure to emphasize high frequency sounds. The position of the patient can be important in detecting a potential heart abnormality. Consider performing the examination with the patient sitting up, lying on their back, and lying on their left side. To auscultate the heart, there are four main areas on the chest that enable you to listen to the mitral, tricuspid, pulmonic, and aortic valves. To perform a lung examination, consider auscultating the patient on multiple sites across the front and back of the body. You can increase your familiarity with subtle sound differences by establishing a consistent sequence for every patient examination. For additional auscultation tips and training, visit the Littman Learning Institute at littman.com education.